If your games are lagging, stuttering, or your CPU always feels maxed out, then you're probably dealing with a CPU bottleneck. In this video, I'll walk you through everything you need to fix it the right way. After watching, your system will run smoother, your gameplay will feel more stable, and you'll get better performance overall. You don't need to upgrade your CPU to see results. Just follow along carefully, and you'll feel the difference instantly. Let's get started. What's related with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up boost. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. Step 1. Minimize background load using MS Config. To start fixing CPU bottlenecks, we need to reduce the background processes that silently eat up your processor's power during startup and while gaming. Windows often runs dozens of services and programs in the background, many of which are unnecessary for your usage. This not only wastes CPU cycles, but can also lead to higher temperatures, longer boot times, and reduced performance in demanding tasks like gaming or streaming. So in this step, we'll use the built-in system configuration tool to streamline your startup processes and background services. First, Open the start menu, type msconfig, and launch the system configuration tool. Once it opens, go to the boot tab and click advanced options. Check the box that says number of processors and select the maximum number available from the drop down. This makes sure all CPU cores are utilized right from the start, giving your system full power during boot. Click OK once done. Now go to the services tab. At the bottom, check Hide All Microsoft Services. This hides core system services you shouldn't touch. Then, review the list of remaining services and disable anything unnecessary, such as printer utilities, manufacturer update tools, cloud syncing apps, or telemetry services. These apps quietly run in the background, using CPU power even when you're gaming. After disabling the ones you don't need, click Apply. Next, move to the Startup tab and click Open Task Manager. In Task Manager's Startup section, you'll see all the apps that launch when your PC boots. Right-click and then disable anything that doesn't need to run on Startup, like chat apps, game launchers, updaters, or RGB software. Once you've trimmed down the list, close Task Manager, then click OK in the System Configuration window. Don't restart yet. Wait until all other tweaks are done. After applying this step, your system will boot faster, use less CPU in the background, and have more resources available for games and demanding tasks. You'll likely feel smoother gameplay, fewer stutters, and much better overall responsiveness. Step 2. Apply the CPU bottlenecking fix pack for deep system level optimization. One of the most effective ways to reduce CPU bottlenecks is by applying custom tweaks that go deeper than built-in Windows settings. To make this process simple and beginner-friendly, I've created a complete optimization pack that includes tools, scripts, and pre-tested settings, all tailored to unlock your CPU's full potential and reduce performance limitations during gaming. These tweaks improve thread scheduling, unlock hidden performance modes, and strip away unnecessary background processes. Whether you're using Intel or AMD, this pack works on all setups and is especially helpful for low to mid-end PCs where every bit of CPU power matters. To get started, head over to my official website, uptopacks.com. Once you're there, click on the FPS Boost tab. You'll see the pack with the exact same title and thumbnail as this video, so it's easy to recognize. Click on it and you'll be able to download the full CPU bottlenecking fix pack in one click. After downloading and extracting the pack, open the tools folder and install the application called Quick Boost. This is the main tool that we'll use to apply system level CPU optimizations. When you launch Quick Boost, you'll see multiple tabs General, Advanced, Cleanup, Storage, and Windows. Start with the General tab. This section includes core settings you should always apply, especially after major Windows updates. First, Enable exclusive full screen mode. This gives games full control over your display output and prevents windows from interfering with rendering. Next, 
disable the Xbox game bar, which often runs in the background and consumes CPU resources. Then turn off startup telemetry to stop Windows from collecting background diagnostic data. Make sure to also disable mouse acceleration. This provides smoother, more accurate mouse movements, especially critical for FPS games. Now, switch off power saving mode so that your CPU runs at maximum clock speed without artificial throttling. You should also disable any unnecessary background services listed here. Finally, use the built-in tool to uninstall bloatware and unnecessary pre-installed games, which not only frees storage space, but also reduces overall system load. Next, head to the advanced tab for deeper tweaks. First, disable power throttling. This setting removes power saving limitations that quietly restrict your CPU under load. It allows your processor to deliver full performance consistently. Then, apply the memory tuning tweaks to ensure your RAM runs at optimal efficiency. Also, make sure to adjust the hardware data queue size. This improves how quickly your system responds to mouse and keyboard inputs, reducing latency in competitive gaming. After that, go to the storage tab. Here, run the cleanup options to delete temporary files, logs, and cached data that build up over time. Use disk cleanup, clear system logs, and remove junk files with a single click. These cleanups help improve overall system speed and reduce the background load on your CPU. Then, switch to the Windows tab. In this section, enable hidden folders for easier manual cleanup in the future. Disable Windows notifications to avoid random pop-ups during gaming. Turn off clipboard history to reduce RAM usage. And finally, disable Windows transparency effects, which improves performance by lowering the rendering load on both GPU and CPU, especially useful on budget systems. Once you've applied all the tweaks and quick boost, go ahead and restart your PC. This will finalize the changes. After rebooting, you should already notice faster responsiveness, reduced background usage, and smoother gameplay across most titles. Now, reopen the downloaded pack and enter the folder called CPU Bottleneck Fix. This folder contains several small but powerful files that need to be installed one by one. These are registry tweaks and scripts that further reduce background CPU tasks, fine-tune system behavior, and help your processor stay efficient under stress. Go ahead and apply each one carefully. Next, open the folder named CPU Priority. Inside, you'll find two subfolders, Intel and AMD. Choose the folder that matches your processor brand. If you're using an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and install the file. If you have an AMD processor, do the same with the AMD folder. These tweaks adjust the way Windows schedules tasks on your CPU, giving priority to foreground apps like games and helping reduce lag caused by inefficient thread handling. Finally, it's time to install Park Control. This tool gives you full control over your CPU, core parking, and power profiles. After launching the program, select the Bitsum highest performance profile from the dropdown. Then, ensure both parking AC and parking DC sliders are set to 100% and disabled. This makes sure all CPU cores stay active and are never parked by Windows. Next, enable the Dynamic Boost option. This keeps your CPU threads fully active during gaming, giving you maximum processing power exactly when you need it. Optionally, turn on Show Power Plan Change Notifications if you want to get alerts when your active plan switches. After that, go to Power Options in your system, choose Bitsum Highest Performance, click Make Active, and then hit Apply to confirm everything. Inside Park Control, you'll see green bars representing your CPU cores. If they're fully lit, it means all cores are working at full potential. It's normal for them to dim when idle, but during gaming, they'll stay active. Lastly, click OK to save your settings. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, 
return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 3. Disable unnecessary permissions to reduce background CPU load. Another big reason behind CPU bottlenecks is hidden background features that run silently, collecting data, tracking usage, or enabling visual effects that consume valuable processing power. Many of these features are not only unnecessary, but also introduce constant background activity that puts stress on your CPU. In this step, we'll walk through disabling excessive privacy permissions and visual effects to reduce system overhead. These changes can significantly reduce CPU usage and improve responsiveness, especially on lower-end machines or multitasking setups. Start by opening the search bar on your taskbar, typing privacy and security, and clicking on the result. Once you're inside the privacy and security settings, focus on the Windows Permissions section. Click on General and disable all the toggles listed here. These include options like letting apps show personalized ads or track app launches, which aren't essential, and quietly eat up resources by constantly collecting and processing usage data. Now move through additional categories like speech, inking and typing personalization, and diagnostics and feedback. If you don't use voice features like speech recognition, go ahead and disable them. Turn off typing personalization to stop Windows from learning and analyzing your typing habits. Under diagnostics, set the data collection to the lowest level or turn it off entirely if available. This prevents background uploads and unnecessary CPU activity related to feedback and telemetry services. Once done with the Windows Permission section, scroll further down to the App Permission section. This area contains detailed permissions for features like location, camera, microphone, voice activation, contacts, and calendar. Go into each one individually. If you don't use location services, disable them completely. Also, turn off access for apps that don't need it, especially for services like email, messaging, radio, or tasks. This ensures that those background processes don't keep running when they're not in use, which helps reduce unnecessary CPU demand. Step 4. Improve responsiveness by disabling visual effects and optimizing virtual memory. Visual effects and inefficient memory management can silently slow down your system, especially during gaming or multitasking. While they might make your desktop look smoother, these graphical enhancements and default paging file settings use both CPU and memory in ways that aren't always efficient. In this step, we'll disable non-essential animations to free up system resources and manually configure virtual memory to reduce CPU overhead. Together, these adjustments help deliver snappier performance, quicker app response times, and reduced stuttering in games. First, open the search bar and type Advanced System Settings. Click the result to open the System Properties window. Now switch to the Advanced tab. Under the Performance section, click the Settings button. This will launch the Performance Options panel. Inside the window, select the option labeled Adjust for Best Performance. This will disable most visual effects like fading menus, sliding tooltips, and animated windows, freeing up both CPU and GPU cycles that are otherwise wasted on these transitions. This small change makes a big difference on low-end PCs, especially when switching between apps or during intense gaming sessions. However, if you want to keep your user experience polished, you can manually re-enable a few useful visual features. Scroll down the list and check these three boxes. Animate windows when minimizing and maximizing helps windows transition smoothly. Show thumbnails instead of icons makes file browsing easier with visual previews. Smooth edges of screen fonts ensures that text looks clean and readable. 
Once you're done, click apply, then OK to save the settings and close the window. Next, we'll fine tune your system's virtual memory, which plays a key role in how Windows handles memory overflow and multitasking. Still in the advanced tab of system properties, look for the section labeled virtual memory and click change. A new window will pop up. First, uncheck the box that says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. This unlocks manual configuration. Now, select your main system drive, usually labeled as C. Below, you'll see two input fields, initial size and maximum size. Set the initial size to 1361 MBB, which is a safe and stable value to help Windows respond faster when memory is under load. For the maximum size, you'll calculate it based on your total RAM. Here's how. For the maximum size, calculate a custom value based on your RAM. Open calculator and multiply your RAM amount in GB by 1024 to convert it to megabytes. For instance, with 16 GB of RAM, multiply 16 by 1024 equals 16584 member B. Then divide that by 2 to get 892 member B. Enter this as your maximum size value. After entering these numbers, click set then OK to apply the changes and restart your system to let the new settings take effect. Once this is done, you'll experience faster memory handling, fewer slowdowns when multitasking and overall smoother gameplay, especially during heavy load scenarios. That wraps up our guide to fixing CPU bottlenecks and unlocking your processor's full potential. If these tweaks improved your gaming performance, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more optimization tips. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.